Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts video. Today for you guys, I'm going to be doing a video that I have wanted to do since the announcement of Data Greeting within Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind. And trust me, since the release of Remind, I've been seeing quite a few hilarious and absolutely fantastic Data Greeting photos uh, over on Twitter, which further proves my point of, yeah, Square Enix have given this community just way too much power. Like, some of this shit is hilarious. So yeah, I've wanted to do a video for a little while now uh, basically reacting to a bunch of uh, the different data greeting photos that you guys have come up with uh, last night I ended up sending out a tweet essentially just saying send me a bunch of your most spiciest most hilarious and your best data greeting photos and I am going to react to them so without further ado let's just dippity dive straight into it all right the first one right here has been sent to us by Morgan rival though uh, it was apparently found by Elliot over on the Kingdom Hearts 3 subreddit though it's likely that he is not actually the uh, original poster of this. So whoever is, thank you so much for making this. This this is beautiful. This is uh, probably one of the most fantastic fucking data greeting photos I, I think I've seen so far. I have previously seen this one. And the greatest thing about uh, data greeting is like actually recreating actual memes but within Kingdom Hearts 3. I've, I've seen some great ones so far but this definitely tops the lot. This is the uh, the woman yelling at the cat meme. We have Loxine acting as the woman that's pointing and uh, we've got the Necho cat dream eater acting as the cat caught by surprise sitting at the fucking dinner table. This is one of the best one-to-one -one meme recreations I think I've fucking seen dude. Honestly. Good lord. Another really cool little detail right here is we've got Marluxia acting as the woman that's trying to hold back the woman that is uh, pointing a finger at the cat beautiful this one is by Mary Cam a friend of mine sent this to me <laughs> We got Ventus uh, standing on the beach, third whaling, while uh, Aqua and Terra have a spicy moment. Ventus's Instagram post says, "The bean all lovey dovey like this for over an hour. Can someone please pick me up?" <laughs> I love the hashtag. I want to go home. Honestly, Terra, Aqua, can can you have a little bit of consideration? I mean, I I know everyone's just been reunited. This boy has literally just gotten out of a fucking ten year sleep, and he's already third whaling. This one right here is from Bruce. We've got a. Uh, Goofy ominously standing, uh, saluting in the realm of darkness at the dark margin. This is actually out of bounds in the dark margin though. This is Goofy standing on the massive white cube that is actually positioned uh, underneath the setting. I've got an out of bounds video coming out soon that actually does display the dark margin. You, you guys will see it in that. Then the next one right here, we've got, um... <laughs> yeah, we got Kyrie kicking Sora's ass on the Paupu Island with uh, Riku looking a little bit concerned, but Donald and Goofy are absolutely fucking loving this. They're having a jolly good time seeing Sora get in the absolute works. Okay, this is beautiful. This is by Stretty right here. We, we, we got the uh, the look back meme with the uh, jealous girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, Kyrie acting as the uh, pissed off jealous girlfriend and Sora looking back at uh, Namine. Beautiful. Absolutely get dang beautiful. Honestly, these Kingdom Hearts meme recreations hit a different feeling. Uh, Gaming Victory, um, yeah, we, 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 we got this Lenny-tastic, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got this work of art right here, we got Aqua getting the suck by the dark version of herself with Sleepy Boy McGee in the background. Uh, we've also got a, a pair of legs there on the, uh, on the other chair. Whose fucking legs are those? I'm taking out those probably, uh, Vanitas's legs. I I'm not really understanding the legs, but, um, quality pick nonetheless. We got one here from Tom. Um, the Keyblade will be forged, but just hold on a moment, because these flowers smell so good. Yeah, this is exactly what I'd expect, uh, Xehanort to be getting up to in his spare time while, uh, Literally all of his other vessels do everything else for him. Okay, this one's really cool. So this is a little uh, callback to obviously Avatar, The Last Airbender. This is by Fist Hound. Uh, we got Sora using uh, what looks to be like an arrow spell. So obviously air. Uh, we've got Aqua using the water. We've got Shion using what looks to be earth. And we've got Vanitas using fire. This one right here is from Michaela. Shout out to ya. This is really cool. This is a little callback to the ending of Kingdom Hearts 2. Where obviously the door to light opens in the dark margin. Uh, also, this is like a really cool little reminder as to kind of like how close Kingdom Hearts, the actual in-game visuals are getting to the pre-rendered cutscenes. Of course, it's not one-to-one -one by any means because of course the pre-rendered cutscenes just look drop-dead gorgeous, but really it goes to show how just amazing uh, the in-game visuals for KH are looking 
uh, nowadays thanks to the Unreal Engine form. This is beautiful though, I've seen a lot of previous Kingdom Hearts scenes recreated in the data greeting. Fantastic work towards those fellas, keep that goodness up. This is another one by Michaela, uh, I don't know why but this this reminds me of the uh, the Puss in Boots scene from, from Shrek 2. I don't know if that's what you were going for but um... That's all I can see. We got some horny energy going on here from Rakusen's. Um, Donald trying to get the uh, the feely good feel. Donald, I, I I don't think Daisy would be too fucking happy with what's going on here, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> we got one right here from Dem Nuts Gaming. Uh, what looks to be a goofy sism happening. I, I gotta say though, specifically when looking towards good old Ziggy over there, uh, compared to the energy levels um, of, of everybody else standing in the circle, no one is anywhere near close to the energy levels of Zigbar. Good lord, I mean the flexibility of this man is just straight impressive. Now this one right here is from Ignis. Roxas has reached his final form. I mean look at this goodness. The power of sea salt. This gives me an idea though, like, l let's say for the future of Kingdom Hearts, uh, we return to Radiant Garden and we gotta do some, like, jobs or minigame missions of the sorts for Scrooge McDuck, obviously, uh, the creator of the sea salt ice cream. After completing all of the missions minigames for this gat dang duck, we then get rewarded a keyblade that is like a sea salt ice cream keyblade. The transformation of which is just a massive oversized fucking sea salt ice cream. Being able to perform all sorts of ice cream based abilities. Beautiful, Square Enix hire me. Alright, this one is from William. <laughs> now, this right here is actually kind of cool. This is a little bit of a callback to a uh, very old Kingdom Hearts meme from Kingdom Hearts 1. Only true OGs will understand this one. Now, obviously we got uh, Yuffie standing on the bed with uh, Sora opposite. There was a meme that went around many years ago where uh, when Sora first arrives in Traverse Town and Yuffie and Leon take Sora to the hotel in Traverse Town to kind of give him the whole rundown of the Keyblade and the darkness, yada yada yada. There's a scene where Yuffie is sitting on the bed and Sora is opposite. She says something like, this is gonna be an adventure or think of it like an adventure and uh, a lot of people ended up screenshotting that one scene, putting the Pornhub logo on top of it, and boom, that's a spicy Kingdom Hearts meme that's been written into history. So I believe this is a little bit of a callback to exactly that. Kudos points, if so. President Jellybean says, I don't know who the original creator is, but this one is funny. Now, th th this is the ship that I want. F forget uh, Sora X Riku, forget Sora X Kairi, forget Namine X Riku, uh, this is it. Donald X Wrinklenor, baby. Now, see, I, I told you, Square Enix, you're Given this community just too much fucking power. <laughs> oh, good lord. Do we really need any more examples of just how much power you're giving these people? Now, this one's really cool. This is a little story in four images by Clint Shivers. Uh, right here, this is the race for the treasure. We've got uh, Riku, Kairi, and Sora running to, to obviously get the scoop on the treasure. And then we've got Donald in the background looking very surprised. And out of nowhere, bang, baby! Fucking arrow, what up? Caught in an absolute gust, Donald then runs over. The treasure is now his. Beautiful, my duck. Well done. Just look how absolutely triggered Sora, Kairi, and Riku are. <laughs> Alright, so we got three images right here from Nyx. Shout out to ya. Once again, we've got the uh, the whole look back, jealous girlfriend meme. Uh, but this time, it is, of course, with the Riku. <laughs> the next one right here is Kairi giving the absolute chin uppercut to uh, Xehanort, eh? Kairi is getting that sweet, sweet justice. And then the next one right here is, ooh, another uh, beautiful sea salt ice cream uh, meme going on. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic, I love him. Feed me more sea salt ice cream photos. Beautiful, we got uh, Shion, Roxas, and Axel summoning forth the almighty sea salt ice cream. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait! <laughs> Hold on, dude. That's fucking Syax in the background! <laughs> I'm cackling. It's funny, and now that you know the whole jealousy thing, I mean, it's it's a little rough to be honest. I kind of feel for the man these days. Just just knowing like Syax's true feelings, you know, fully being exposed at the end of KH3. <laughs> This just makes it all the more funnier. Just standing out there like, fuck you guys. Well, that's beautiful, Nyx. Uh, uh, many kudos points to you. All right, Leon Hart, we got the uh, classic Eric Andre let me in meme. This this is beautiful. Let me in. Let me in. I also love the added lens flares on Sora's eyes. You, you get some extra points for actually putting in some uh, extra details after the fact. Absolutely fantastic work. This one right here is from Hartley Sparks. Uh, this is a Riku Instagram. Instagram post, uh, date night with my inner darkness. <laughs> Sora's like, uh, Kairi's like, 
Riku, what are you doing? Stay away from him. And Xemnas just straight down the bottom. I feel even more alone. Fantastic. Like, I could honestly see this actually happening if Ansem were to actually return. Just with what he was saying uh, when he was defeated at the end of KH3. I, I could honestly see both uh, Riku and Ansem becoming a pretty good pal. Ah, uh, yes. Master of Light. Beautiful, my guy. Look at this. Beautiful. We got Donald summoning forth the almighty Keyblade. Now, to be fair, I could see this happening just with uh, the absolute force of power that Donald Duck is. After seeing him summon forth uh, Zeta Flare, I gotta say, this duck is definitely worthy. Here is a really, really cool one from 13 Blades. Not gonna lie, I cried a little bit while I was doing this data greeting. Now, this is fantastic. They've even gone to the trouble of actually putting in uh, some subtitles right here to give the scene a little bit more context. I love it when people go that extra mile and put in extra details outside of data greeting. This is obviously a callback to the ending of of Kingdom Hearts uh, 358 over two days, the whole Xion uh, death thing. <laughs> Send me down memory lane. Right here, uh, you're next, Roxas. I have to make you a part of me too. Don't you see? This is why I was created. The next one right here, we've got the whole uh, fighting going on with that really cool purple effect that you can put in uh, within data greeting. Absolutely beautiful. And then we've got the, God, the famous Xion. Who else will I have ice cream with? Oh, it's too much. It's too much. And they, oh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta hit me with this, Sheon, with, with the gat dang tear on the cheek. With the... <laughs> You're killing me out here, man! Uh, Nikolai Veros, this is beautiful, my dude. We got Sea Salt Barrage, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. Feed me more Sea Salt memes. Honestly, this is just fueling the idea of the uh, Sea Salt Keyblade transformation idea. <laughs> Okay, no, dude, this is the best one. I don't know why I find this so fucking hilarious. Look, look at this. Oh my god, that needs to be framed. That needs to be framed! <laughs> Alright, we, we got this, uh, the goofening, I believe it said. Yeah, the goofening, uh, go the goofening by Waslo. Oh, this is beautiful, my man. Uh, a goofy caught out in the realm of darkness. Has the darkness got into you, goof? Beautiful. I, I need specifically this right here. Just this picture right here framed. <laughs> the next one, oh god. Then Sora comes down, boom, saving the day. Goofy being pushed. Sora struggling to deal with it all. And then, uh, ooh, that is actually like a raw photo. I'm loving all like the water effects with the kind of electricity effects. That is awesome, man. In the sense of the actual meme itself, though, this is this this is like 18.6 out of five, dude. Forget 10. This is only a five rating, and it's getting an 18 final score. This is from Ben Malusha, the Flower Boy. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Malusha, absolutely in his element right here. Switching on over to the next one. Dark Inferno comes out of God knows where, summoning forth some fire. You better not, my dude. And boom, boom, there goes the whole patch. <laughs> There goes the whole pack! Way to ruin this man's day. Do you, do you know how long this man spent uh, fucking planting each individual tulip, poppy, hydrangea, a bird of paradise? I mean, and now I'm just like naming random flowers and, and, and foliage and stuff. I don't know my flowerology. No idea. Your arrogance will not be accepted. <laughs> I tried. This one's just straight Roxas getting caught cheating. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> what is that? Well, what is going on here, dude? I, I I don't know who's the girlfriend and who's the person that uh, Roxas has been cheating on with. I, I, I'm kind of confused. Is it is it Namine or is it Shion? I'm assuming it is Shion right here because she's running like towards the couple, most likely about to just absolutely uh, barbarically smack Roxas over the four dome with that dildo stick. We got Riku looking extremely disappointed with Sora looking absolutely shocked. Kairi's trying to stop Shion from uh, doing something terrible and then Aqua's also running on over to kind of help out with that. And then we got the three boys in the background just also kind of looking very shocked, although it, it kind of seems as if Fantas is like, yeah, you get him, dude. Good on you, man. That one friend that's like, who cares, bro? Go for it. <laughs> yeah, this one's fantastic. This is by uh, Dead Sea Doodly. Uh, get dang it, get get dang it, Axel. Dr dropping the sea salt ice creams. Roxas like, no, what are you doing? Shion looking absolutely distraught. Her disappointment is immeasurable. Look at that, just absolutely wallowing in sadness. Oh god, we got this one again. We got this one again by the tenth Doctor. The, the old Yuffie callback. <laughs> we, we got 
We got good old Kyrie coming in for the absolute smack across the head. All right, fellas, what is going on here with Donald Duck getting this cop? Like, what, what, what is it? Where's this coming from? First, it was the Jiggly Girls, and and now now it's them toes. Donald, you got something going on? Is Daisy just not cutting it for you? Ah, uh, yes, Brett. This is this is fantastic. I've seen this one floating around, but thought I would feature Kingdom Hearts Dark Road. Alright fellas, well that is going to do it for the very first episode of reacting to Kingdom Hearts 3 data grading photos. I do plan on doing uh, maybe a few more episodes of this as it was a lot of fun to do and of course I had a bunch of submissions. Thank you to everyone who ended up getting involved in this, I appreciated all the memes. <laughs> for the most part are appreciated. It's also talking about doing more episodes towards this kind of a thing. I also do want to say that the second episode of uh, reacting to people's keyblades will hopefully be coming out sometime soon as well, so stay tuned for that. However guys, I'm Cynical, hopefully you dudes are having a fantastic day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.